Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of two brand new audio recorders from Kodak that were very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of these products so you can make an informed buying decision. So without further ado, let's get on with the reviews. This is the Kodak VRC550 Digital Voice Recorder. Comes supplied in this nice little compact box. You can see a picture of the product on the front here. On the side here it says stereo recorder, instant recording, plug and play. And then on the opposing side it says it's got noise reduction, eight gigabytes of built-in storage, which equals up to 581 hours of recording. That's very, very impressive. And also micro SD card slots, you can expand on that recording capacity. Around on the back here, just some extra details. The fact you can use this as an MP3 player as well, you can also connect earphones which are included and it works with either Windows or Mac OS. So very, very useful information on the box. Now we do get some earphones for monitoring the recording or listening to MP3 files. You get those supplied inside the box. You also get a charge cable. It's full size USB on one end and USB-C on the opposing end. And then we get some instructions. This is a quick start guide to get us up and running. And then of course, the little tiny recorder itself. And it's a very effective recorder, very compact, so easy to slip into a pocket. Now you can use this of course for higher end audio recording if you wanted to, maybe to accompany a video. But what it's really designed for is for voice memos and for dictating things. So that sort of recording, or maybe recording an interview and then transcribing that interview afterwards. We've got a couple of little microphones on the top here. We've got the control system just here. We've got a screen, we've got a speaker, and we've got some more controls on the side. The controls on the side are for sort of navigating through the files, adjusting the volume, resetting, and turning on and off. And these are in fact marked on the back of the casing. So you get an idea of what all the buttons do. And then on this side here, we've got the micro SD card slot, the USB port, and also the headphone output. So nice that they've marked these on the side. Now on the front, we've got record, play, pause, and also a power, and menu and back. And if we turn this on with the slider, you'll see it's got a little tiny color screen. Very, very nice screen. It is small, but perfectly usable. And we can cycle through settings, player, recorder, folders, and then background to settings. And then to make a selection, we push this button here. And we can do things like sleep timer, backlight timer, brightness, date and time setting, language, password setting, information, format the device, and restore to factory settings. We can also, of course, exit the settings page as well. So if we go back, we can go back to the main menu. And then if we ever want to get back into this menu, we can, of course, push the menu button. And starting recording is a simple matter of hitting the record and then you're good to go. The files are easily accessible. You can manage them within the folder system on the device itself, and then to get them onto your computer. If you're recording to an SD card, of course, you could remove the SD card, but if you're getting them off of the device itself, you connect it via USB. It's a really useful recorder. The sound quality or the audio recording quality is very good, and it's such a small, compact device. If you're after something that you can easily slip into your pocket or bag, this is definitely one to check out. This is the Kodak VRC450 digital voice recorder. It's an audio recorder, really designed to record interviews or dictation, and then for you to transcribe that maybe into written format, for example. You could use this for recording audio that accompanies your videos. It records a decent quality, there are higher end options, of course, if you want to go for a sort of a higher audio fidelity quality, uh, but this is perfectly suffice for most recording situations. This is what the product box looks like. Picture of the product on the front, uh, Kodak branding across the top here. On the side here, it says it's a stereo recorder, instant recording, plug and play. Around on this side, noise reduction, eight gigabytes of built-in memory for up to 581 hours of recording and also a micro SD card slot to extend that eight gigabytes capacity. And it's just a really nice, uh, nicely presented product. Very, very nice compact packaging. Inside the box, we get some earphones for listening back to the recordings. 
or also if you want to use this as an mp3 player you can load it up with mp3 files if you choose to you get a charging cable this side is full size usb this side is micro usb to charge the device and get files on and off we also get a quick start guide it's going to guide you through getting the device up and running and then of course you get the device itself very very compact device very very well made as well metal casing you've got the microphone capsules behind this grill on the top display on the front navigation controls menu and back on here as well and then on this side here and in fact if i turn this all the way over it will actually tell you what the controls are so we've got the usb socket just here we've got on and off we've got storage locations so you can choose between recorder or the memory card and then you've got the memory card slot and the headphone socket just here. Then we've got on this side here, we have got a microphone input. We've also got record save. We've got denoise. We've got reset and we've got delete. So we've got all the buttons we need to interact with the device. In fact, let's just turn this on and you'll see the display come on on the front. And we can navigate through the settings uh, using the controls. So we can go uh, left and right through the settings. So we've got folders for voice, record settings. We've also got music, system settings. And then if we want to go into that, we push the middle button and then we can navigate through language, date and time, display settings, sleep timer, password set, information, factory settings and formatting. So plenty of options there to set up the device. Recording is very, very simple. Retrieving your audio files off here is also very quick as well. And I think it's a really good device. The actual audio quality is decent. Very, very good indeed. I would say that this is really designed for interviews and taking notes, for example, and then transcribing them later. But if you are a video producer and you want a quick and easy way of capturing uh, an interview, then this would be suffice. It captures pretty good quality audio. I like the fact you can extend that memory if you want to, so you can go up from the eight gigabytes of built-in memory using a micro SD card. It's just a nice overall, very, very compact, very pocketable audio recorder. This is the Kodak VRC450. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out the links down in the video description if you wanna purchase one of these for yourself. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.